Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Art Resin was kind enough to provide me with some resin to create my next seascape. And you can see that I've already prepped the board. And now I'm taping off the back with some Scotch masking tape. So I often get asked what supplies I use, so I wanted to list them out in this video for you this time. I like these TCP measuring cups because they have variable different ratios on them for measuring. You'll need popsicle sticks, something to stir your resin with, of course some gloves, and in this pour I'm going to use real pink sand. This is Sandtastic, and I'll try to find a link for you that I can put down in the description below. Also, I'm going to add in a few little bits of shells that I got from Florida on our trip to visit our family there. And of course, art resin. A one-to-one -one ratio, it's really easy to mix and it's perfect because it's really fluid and has a long working time when I'm working my seascapes. And then of course a little torch to heat your resin and get rid of those bubbles and I always have alcohol wipes on hand to wipe my hands and my tools off with. Oh, and don't forget tweezers for those pesky little dust bits and hairs that get into your resin unexpectedly. And I have a little mini hair dryer that I use to move my resin and create the wave and blend my blues in the ocean water. A great tip for working with resin is to double glove that way you can just strip one glove off when you get all sticky and messy and you have another clean one underneath. Make sure you're working on a level surface because Art Resin does self-level and you don't want it all to run off one side. Also, on Art Resin's website they have a resin calculator so that you can measure your area and just plug that in and it'll give you an approximate amount of resin you need to cover that area which is really a great feature. So art resin is one to one ratio and I start by putting the hardener in my measuring cup followed by equal amounts of the resin. It's important to get your measurements pretty right on to make sure you don't have any problems with your resin curing. And you'll want to mix it thoroughly for about three minutes, making sure you're scraping the sides of your container, the bottom of your container, and scraping your stick off as well. I decided to add a little bit of coral, the res, mica, powder pigment to my resin, thinking I might get the color I was after, but it really didn't do the trick after all. But when you are mixing mica powders and pigments into your resin, Make sure that you don't mix in more than 10% pigment to resin ratio. Now I'm adding my pink sand to the mixture and I'm going to add in quite a lot so it's a really thick consistency and you'll see how thick it is when I spread it over my board. Then I decided to add in a little bit of pink glitter to give it a little sparkle and shine. Now I'm just spreading it out on the beach part of my board. And of course it's a lot darker than I was hoping for, but you'll see I'll sprinkle some more sand over the top and areas where the water wouldn't have quite hit it yet. You'll see this becomes quite the work in progress and I think the end result's pretty good. So I go ahead and finish this off with some of those little bits of shells and pieces and then I let the beach cure overnight before I continue working on the water portion of my seascape. Although art resin takes a good three days to fully cure, by the next day your resin is hard enough and you can touch it. So I go ahead and continue working on my project, mixing up another batch of resin and pouring it out into little cups so I can begin mixing in my blues. 
So I tend to like to get my resin either poured out onto the surface right away or poured into smaller cups so there's not a big dense quantity sitting there in a container where it's likely to cure a lot faster. I begin by putting down a clear coat of resin over my surface and then I start pouring in my pigmented resin over the board and using the hair dryer and the torch I start blending and mixing it to create the look I'm after. I like to create several layers when I'm working on my art resin pieces. It gives it an extra depth and dimension where you can actually kind of look through the water and into the depths. So I'm going to complete this layer of resin and let it cure overnight and then I'm going to start over again with a new layer in the morning. The next day my resin is cured enough to touch and I'm ready to go ahead and put another coat of resin glues and some more waves in my water. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take aluminum tape and tape off the edges because this time I don't want my resin to float over the side of the boards. I want to build it up. So you'll see me taping off my board with aluminum tape. And the reason I'm using aluminum tape this time is just because it sticks better to the sides of my board where I've got the sand and whatnot. So here I am working on another layer. I mix up another batch of art resin and I put a clear coat down over my surface before I start mixing pigments in. And I do this for two reasons. One is it helps give my resin a fluid space to flow over easier. And two is I wanna preserve some of that color and resin that I had laid down the day before. In this project, I used a torch, a heat gun, and a blow dryer, along with a straw, to help pop bubbles, heat my resin, and move it around. With my torch, I like to just move it over the surface really quickly to help pop the bubbles and give my resin more fluidity so that it moves easier to blend my blues in my um, ocean water. And here we are on another day and I've let it cure overnight and I'm working to put one final layer on this seascape. One of the things I love about art resin is it's virtually odor free and I'm really sensitive to smells. So for me, this is a perfect product to use while I'm creating my artwork. Here I put my final clear coat of resin down and then add in the last touches to the waves that I was wanting on the very top of my project. As always, I really, really appreciate you watching and following along. And if you like what I'm doing, please hit subscribe so that you can see my next project that goes up. You can also follow me on Instagram where I spend a lot of my time I do lives every week and post progress shots of my artwork every day. Thank you so much Art Resin for the resin to create this project and thank you to all my followers for sticking with me and supporting me along my creative journey.